Welcome back everybody to another little Glios review. Today we are going to be looking at two different Glios makers that just had some new figures getting released. We've got a little bit of some sluggish looking gross green from God Beast who just launched a brand new wave just like a couple weeks ago. Some Vores, some new awesome awesome Zoloid figures. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then we also have some Knights of the Slice classic little toy pizza goss armor figures. They just launched a brand new one that's I'm very stoked for. I'm actually really looking forward to this one. So we're going green today. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to check these guys out. If you enjoy anything Glios content related, then you're going to love the reviews we do on the channel here. Make sure to hit subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy the video. Let's go check out these figures. So first things first, I want to go over this really cool Goss armor that I got in. Uh, I think it was like a month ago when they did this release. It was with a toy expo they had recently. And this was Knights of the Slice exclusive Goss armor. This is a really, really sharp and cool silver goss armor. Let's pull it out of the bag here. Check it out. It's got this nice looking orange, little highlighty bits and parts on it. Oh man, look at that. And the silver on this just looks incredible. We got our standard couple different heads that come with it, the arm cannon, and then of course the backpack, which we'll, we'll pop all that out. But we see we got this nice looking orange backpack. Looks really slick. Kind of want to go back in and like pan align those details because I think that might look really, really cool. Let's get out the figure himself and check out what's going on with this guy. He looks freaking sick. I love the silver. We got that nice shiny chromatic looking Goss armor coming at you now. I love these guys, man. I need to get a better display going for them because I've got so many now. It's crazy. It's awesome. I love it. Oh, I forgot how nice and poseable these guys were comparatively, but look at that. I know I'm just like finagling him into random stuff, but man, oh man, always got to appreciate the detail on these guys when you get them. They just did such a phenomenal job with the molding of these dudes. Let's slap on the backpack really quick. There we go. Backpack is on. He's ready to jetpack on out of here. Do what he needs to do. He's in charge. He's ready to go. Bang. Got the arm cannon. Do I want to put the arm cannon on? Almost to get some more of those orange highlights, but I don't know. The eyes are also orange on this headpiece too. Looks really slick. And what do we got on this one too here? We've got, yeah, more orange on the base of this. Who knows? I could be convinced. I could pop that one on maybe on this guy. I like almost never use the other head pieces. Sometimes you got to switch it up. You know, you got to give some variety here. There we go. Now it's off. Ooh, yeah, that looks pretty slick. I like that. I dig that. That looks nice. I might keep this one on for this guy. I gotta give some variety to my showcase of these Goss armors. Let's stand you off to the side a little bit here because now we're gonna get in a very, very cool Goss armor. This one just came out. Oh, it's gonna be just so incredible. We gotta get it out of the packaging. Now this is not an Uzarian. This is, what is his name again? Let's see, it was on here. A Doctoranium, Doctoranium, a clear green Goss armor. I mean, come on, right? We did get our little standard sticker in here too. And we also got a bunch of cards from Jagged Age, uh, which is their card game over there on Knights of the Slice. I haven't got a chance to play it or really try it out, but we did get a bunch of cards in here. Holy crap. Dang, lots of turtle lord. That one's dope. I love the artwork on that one. Frog Barbarian, almost looks like this is part of a card that connects Captain Blackjack. Oh, now this is from, uh, yeah, Plunderlings. I really, really want to get my hand on a Plunderlings guy. They look so cool. Such a cool toy. Uh, wow, lots of frogs. Another Plunderling dude. They did like just a bunch of collaborations for this game. And look at that. Dungeon Traveler. Skeleton. Very, very sharp. Love the little freebies they toss in sometimes. But let's check out this guy. Let's get him out of here. They got this like light green highlight on him. They've got a nuclear symbol painted on the chest, which is like super dope. I love that. We've got, I think for the first time, like a actual like painted skin toned head, which is pretty crazy. I don't think we've gotten that before. 
but you can see how the other ones just have this nice kind of light lime green and then the figure itself has that like oh, almost like oozarian feel let's check out the backpack on this one again there we go it's got this like pastel -y, light green feel really really sharp we'll pop it on the figure straight away so we're all ready to go and just look at this beauty holy crap am i in love gotta be one of my favorite Uzer almost said Uzerian again but it's not Uzerian but what i really wanted to say was like gotta be one of my favorite goss armors now because one of my favorites before was that light nice light blue where is he can i grab him yeah this guy looks incredible the sea goss armor it, uh, one of my favorites but i think this one's gonna take the cake now because i am a green man myself it just looks so so stellar any oozarian stuff out there or anything with just this nice translucent green is just so sick to me but let's just take that in take that in look at this i love that they did this little nuke symbol so so cool getting on board with the little fallout action or something maybe since that uh got so popular with the show oops arm came off my bad i really really need to do some more like customization with these guys too i haven't done a lot although recently i'll give a quick shout out to an instagram post i saw recently a really really cool build uh that you can kind of combine with a couple different figures and it, it looks incredible. I'm going to have to take one of my Goss armors and make this guy because that is just such a cool combo mashup. Uh, so, you know, sometimes the, the, the simple, the simple swap and builds just look so clean. You don't have to go overboard, you know, but they're, you can definitely go overboard. There's some crazy overboard ones out there that just take apart this entire guy and repurpose them into just some crazy monstrosity been a lot of like uh zoloid combinations which i'm all about i would love to get some more combos with zoloids i mean can you imagine getting like a combo together with these two the possibilities are endless i love it but even like this guy this is the zoloid that i was talking about like swapping in and out pieces with this might be ridiculously cool but really just want to give a detailed look on this arm the joints the little pieces have that light green coloration too, so they don't stand out crazy, but you can see them inside the translucency. It looks really, really stellar like that. Gotta pay attention to the calf. Uh, legs look good, arms look good. Super, super clean. Let's pop on the arm cannon. I think I will want the arm cannon on this guy. We'll go with the left hand today because I might give this guy a weapon. You never know. I might throw on a weapon or something at some point, but there we go. Got the nice banger blaster cannon arm cannon looking sick ready to take out his little brother here his little silver goss armor ah oh, absolutely adore this one this is so cool uh it is i think still available on the store although as of filming this i just looked at the store and it was down for the day uh i don't know when they're coming back up but it should be up by the time this video releases. So if they've got them in the store still, definitely go snag one of these. I don't know if they have any more of the convention exclusive silvers, um, but I feel like since this guy still came out, they still should have some of him in the store somewhere. I gotta just take a look at this guy really quick. Cause again, I think this is the first time we've gotten a, like a full painted head on the Goss Armors. I know they've done full painteds on some of the other Night of the Slice, figures but this is really a nice inclusion i kind of want to pop it on just to see how we're looking on that don't know if i'm really gonna like it because i just like the green helmet too much but but if you are a fan that's what you're going to be working with a nice little flesh colored head ready to go zap zap on whatever creature is coming his way all right that you know what all together that actually doesn't look too shabby that's pretty sick looking okay I can see it. I can see it. I can dig it. Very, very cool. But we are going to put this head back on because I prefer it. Sorry, it's my preference. You got to do what you want to do with the Glios. It's yours to create and build. All right, but enough of the Goss armor. We are going to swing into the God Beast release. We've got two figures that dropped in this wave. They look incredible. I mean, I can't wait to check them out. I haven't seen them in person yet. And Marty himself said... Wait till you get a hold of these things in person, in your hand. They look incredible. The pictures looked incredible. We've got a Slugoid, a variant of the Zoloids, and we also have a Mantivore. 
uh, which is a ridiculous, crazy looking combo of their nice little nemesis figures and also an armivore, which you know I'm about. Gotta love the armivore. Let's get him out here. Now he sold the, the little nemesis figure right here with the armivore, but he ships them separately. So you can just make the nemesis figure, uh, but you would have to buy both to get both figures basically. And then the Zoloid, the Slugoid comes separately. You can buy that one on its own. Uh, let's just build up the Nemesis really quick. I will show a picture here of what the Mantivore build looks like. This is how he was selling it. I am preferably going to just go with the simple Armivore build because that's what I like to collect is the straight up Armivores. And I do have a whole runner shelf of Nemesis figures. So this guy's gonna go quite well up on the shelf too so we're just going to build him out and build out the armivore and go from there always 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 go follow marty at the god beast on instagram he always has really really good breakdowns of builds that he creates and stuff and he's got some really nice ones so if you ever want to do one of his builds He's got like a whole breakdown on his Instagram, so go follow him there. He takes some really, really great like nature photography with his figures as well, which I always appreciate, Marty. That is such a stellar way to go about things with these guys. He's got some nice shots. Okay, so of course we do have our little bug head looking very, very nice with that nice red glow to the eyes, very sharp. We get an extra little tendril claw thing and a little switch pin, two switch pins actually. But here is the Nemesis figure, the little slug green variation going on in here, looking very crisp, very clean. Now it's a little bit brighter on my camera right now, the green is, but it's like a subdued kind of nice pea green almost, variation shades of a pea green. We got a darker shade of green in here mixed in, Kind of that same lighter, pastel -y light green going on. Very similar, not quite the same, but very, very similar. And then all together, I mean, it just looks phenomenal. Looks really, really sharp. And the highlights of red, of course, going on in here too. Check out the back of the Nemesis figure. We've seen these Nemesis figures so many times, and he always does just a, a stellar job. Particularly in green, he does run a lot of green color variations of his figures and he always does a stellar job with the greens we'll keep him there we're gonna go into the slugoid oh man give me more of these ah oh, these soul boys these zoloids they look so incredible i've been nothing but pleased with the ones i've gotten thus far i mean just look at this guy he's he's incredible we got to switch, we got to flip the eyes a little bit here. Let's get the eyes facing towards us. There is one of the heads. He is so, oh, the texture. I can't get over the texture on these. They look so good with this, this rough edge texture all over the place, especially on the chest and head, the legs. I mean, they've got such a nice, Oh, and the legs. I love this little thing they did here. It's so good. It's always sturdy. I haven't had anything break on any of these either. So if you're worried about that, worry about the arms. I have not had any issues thus far with these guys. They're just incredible. And this green matches so, so well with these. It looks super, super nice. They even really got up in there with that yellowish green up in the details of the chest super well done on that front. I really want to see the process of how these creators make these just to know and learn what kind of painstaking work these guys have to do to get these figures looking so crisp and so nice. I know they put in a ton of effort on these guys and it can't be easy. So I really do appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into each and every one of these dudes. It, it's so incredible how they do these things. Let's flip around the head here. We also got this little uh, effable stick your dick in it type face. You know, that's a little, that's a little rough. Oh my. I guess you gotta like, kind of flip the eyes around a little bit. There we go. Kind of like that. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if that helps or hurts. <laughs> it's, it's a little butthole mouth, you know? You just gotta go with that. You ever see Preacher? Well, this is what that guy would look like as some kind of demon dude from Preacher. So we are gonna switch the head because it's not my preferred head. We'll actually run through some of the other heads we got here. I love this one. Uh, I have not, like, kept it on a figure yet, but I really do like it. 
He is so, so cool. I love the just the one monodied craziness. Man, you can barely see the detail on that. The shadows, it, this bulbous head is just casting over his eyes. Crazy. A really cool head. This one's stellar too. This is more of like, more of a traditional like alien type vibe, you know? But it's looking sick. And the brain texture too, again, is just so ridiculously cool. Gotta love it. You gotta love these guys. They're so, so nice. We got one more head. I, I'm a big fan of this one. This one's really cool. It's like just, it's mean and cyclops and just gritting its teeth, ready to be intimidating for the whole show. It's just so cool. I love it. I love it. We flip it around. We get kind of more of this like mixed bio humanoid robotic -y feel on this side it's also got its merit too i think the shape could be a little bit better on this side with like the mouthpiece and whatnot but the eyes look really sharp and i love kind of the brim of the head looks really good i want to see like that mouth protrude out a little bit more maybe but i mean side profile that looks pretty sick too honestly i haven't appreciated it from that side profile before but again with this slugoid coloring it just looks really, really, really cool. Very naturalistic type alien mode. It doesn't look too crazy or unrealistic as far as like, you know, some crazy translucent thing. And that can be such a benefit to the figures. It really brings them out, brings out the coloring, brings out the colors and the details quite a bit when you get those more uh, subdued tones. I think we're going to flip it around. We're going to keep this head on because it just looks super, super dope. Uh, I will say if you want to go full slugoid though, this is the one that was featured on the website for getting the slug thing going. I think we're going to put on the hand cannon on this guy too. Well, what do you think? What do you think? We're going to pop it on. We're going to see, Oop, that's not the wrong, eh, that's the wrong area. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. You know what? I like the claws. I like the claws, but let's just appreciate the hand cannon really quick texture detail up the wazoo try blaster action ready to go ready to get in on all your cool shots and pictures uh, i'll probably put that on for a picture at some point uh, because why the frick not you know he stands so nice too he's such a good size for what he is and man you can build upon him so nicely too it would be so ridiculous. I would love to like just pop him onto his head almost. I gotta try that out. I gotta try some swip swapping of heads. It does come with two extra closed fist version hands. So if you want him to hold something or whatnot, you can. I love the claws, but obviously you can only do so much if you want him to hold different objects. And it comes with a couple switch pins too. But now we can get into the sluggy little armivore. This guy is gonna be dope. Oh, it's been a minute since we've seen God Beast himself put out an armivore. Uh, we've seen a few in recent times from Onel, which has been nice. But check out this guy. We've got the classic looking cyborg armivore. Uh, I forget what it is actually. It's, like, it's just the Vore head. It's the Vore like trooper head, I guess you could say. But look at this green on this guy. Oh my goodness. That looks so, so cool. Dang. Yeah, let's flip around the head. We'll get the angle of the other head. Who do you guys prefer? Do you prefer this one or do you prefer the other one? Ooh, I kind of really like this one on this figure. I tend to like this head side. But this one kind of looks pretty freaking sick. But it wouldn't be an armivore without that classic wolf head. We do get a wolf head in here. So let's pop it on and check it out. Because it's got some pretty amazing detail on this one. Let's see. Look at that. It's got this crazy looking. It almost looks like a blend of the two greens on top. I know it's just the darker shade of the green. But it's got, it hits the light in such a way where it kind of just gives off this extra, this extra little flash of green almost. It's very, very cool. And it's got that nice red-eyed eyepiece. You're looking at full armivore, wolf, ba -ness in the flesh, in the little slimy flesh. We do also get their gun. So we'll, so we'll slap that on. We'll slap that on. Let's get the gun going. You know what it is. We've got that awesome looking blaster ready to rock and roll. We've got the Vore on the move. Let's see it. Come on, get it up in here. Close, nice and personal. Give me the focus. That is so, so cool. 
fantastic job, Marty. I love him. He looks incredible. Super, super dope. Ah, I need another shelf now for my Arm of War because I'm just getting so many recently that, uh, yeah, I'm running out of space again. The shelf is looking pretty tight, so we're going to have to maybe move locations for the armivore so I can have more space. You know what I kind of want to do, though? I kind of want to throw this head on and just see how this looks, because I bet this... Ah, oh, that looks... Yep, I can already tell. That looks incredible. Ha <laughs> ha! That looks so cool. I love that combo. That's such a nice combo for a vore. Holy crap, that's sick. That is really, really dope. Flip it around, maybe. Let's see that. Ooh, okay, okay. I think I prefer this side. The two-eyed one for this one, but that is still really, really sweet. You know what I want to try, though? Let me, let me, let me do one of these. Let's do a little, little bit of a swap action here. Can I do this and then give him, like, a bigger claw hand? Yo, okay. Get the mix up here with the little Zolby soloid guy. Give him the little fist arm. Kind of sick. I kind of like the weird proportion of it. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, what if we what if we went like this and we gave him the blaster? Let's see that. Oh, ooh. Ooh. That is fire. That is actually that is actually really sick. I love that look. That is really cool. Ready to go blasting some other slugoids out of the world. Let's flip back on the wolf head to just get him back to vor state but i think i'm gonna leave that on that's kind of really sick but once again there's the full light up for today marty absolutely crushed it again with this vor please do more vors and thank you for dropping this one this one is super super dope make sure to go support god beast oh we're tipping everything oh no right as i'm about to drop the links everybody's falling over go support god beast right up here go click the link check out a store i know they still have these available as of right now but these fours might start disappearing pretty soon. You never know. So go click and go buy. Go support Marty at the God Beast shop. Also, go ahead and go over to Knights of the Slice. Get yourself some Goss armor, especially while this guy's still in the store. Unsure about him, but definitely go pick yourself up one of these Doctrinarium crazy nuclear Goss armors. The Nuke Goss. Super, super dope. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this little review. 10 out of 10 on this Vor, man. These Slugoids, incredible. And this, this is a 10 out of 10 year too for this nuclear Goss. Incredible work. Super fun to go through these again. Now let's go wrap this video. I was going to say, let's go wrap this video up and then things just start falling again. What the heck, guys? That's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed and you stayed and watched all the way to the end, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Make sure to hit subscribe and leave a like on the video and tell me in the comments below which one of these figures was your favorite and which one are you potentially going to be buying a second one of. Everyone have a great rest of your week and we will catch you in the next video.